All right, in the last video, we were talking about the properties panel. So the important thing to remember is this is very helpful. Depends on what you have selected on the stage as to what it shows you. Depends on which tool you have selected as to what it shows you, and so on. If you draw shapes in this class, you're always going to use just regular shapes, never object drawing. And I'll show you some examples of that. Here's your basic three um, shape tools. Now let's go to the rectangle tool. We'll click, just hold down the mouse, and you'll see there's a rectangle tool and a primitive rectangle tool. We're not using the primitive tools at all. So I've got the rectangle tool selected now. Notice the properties panel tells me things about the rectangle tool, including its, its fill color. Generally, you want to try to avoid strokes on things. Um, so here it is with just a fill. If it had a stroke, it'd have another you know, little thing stroking it that was po possibly a different color. Now, what you want to do when you grab this tool and you look over here, in the properties panel is you want to make sure that this button is off and it looks off when it has black around it now notice this is um, some questions that uh, are on your take-home quiz so when drawing shapes in this class we do not use object drawing mode that means that the object drawing mode has black around it okay so let's look at that one more time in here so I'm just going to click on this with the regular selection tool and delete it. I'm going to grab, this time I'll grab the oval tool. Notice same thing that if I just click and hold down, there's the oval tool in here and there is the primitive oval tool. So I just want the oval tool. And before I draw, I'm going to look over here and make sure that this button does not look like that, that it looks like this with just black around it. Then I'm going to click, I'm going to drag, and another way that you can tell is with the friend here, the properties tool. If we select an object that was drawn in with the object drawing off, it gets little dots when it's selected, as opposed to if you do it the wrong way and you accidentally turn this object drawing mode on, look at the difference here. I select this it doesn't have little dots around it has a selection around it this one just has little dots I finish that question out if we drew the wrong thing it'll say drawing object in the properties panel so delete that if we click on it here and again we have this set to properties not to library and then we have it so that it is showing us the object the thing that is indeed selected right if we click on a tool that automatically, well, let's click on an actual tool here, it automatically changes, but if we slip, um, select an actual object on the stage, it'll tell us what that is. We want that to say shape. So button has black around it, and if we select a drawn shape, or say object, the property panel tells us that it is a shape, and when the selected and the selected object is made up of tiny little dots, meaning this, just to make sure that's clear here. Um, the, here you see the little tiny dots within it, yeah. Now, something that can be interesting and sometimes frustrating about these shapes um, is that they can add and subtract from each other just by overlapping. Now, you can easily put them on different layers to avoid this behavior. But watch this. If I, so we'll concentrate on this shape over here. We'll get rid of this other drawing object. And if I draw now, and I'll use the rectangle this time, and I draw a rectangle and it overlaps this, and then I go to select it, notice everything's selected. And I can't um, get these to come apart once they're done. You know, I, I can do uh, Command Z and undo what I did. No, no problem there. But if you want it around um, a blue circle and a, and a rectangle and them not to join like that, just put them on different layers. That'll solve that problem. Now, if they're different colors, let's change color. And then let's overlap a shape. 
Oop, I had that selected, so it changed the color a bit. Not a problem. We'll just deselect it. Now change to a different color. And we will now draw a simple shape. Goes right inside of here. And now I will grab the selection tool and I will click on this green. We notice the little dots in there telling us its shape. Now which, watch what happens when I click and drag to move this away. It actually took a chunk out of there. But again, if I put this green thing on a different layer and this thing on a different layer, I would not have to worry about that. But it does make for a very quick, unique way to make shapes. So the stuff that I just showed you in this video and the last two are the things I think you really need before you get started. But watching me too much and not doing, um, you know, can get boring. So before I go on and I show you um, more advanced stuff, let's do the first project together. And along the way, I'll explain some of the more advanced features.